Get ready to flex your mental muscles. We're about to play Cranium Kabuki. This is Kabuki on the Nintendo Wii. And I'm sorry to disappoint fans of classical Japanese theater or the NES classic Kabuki Quantum Fighter, but this doesn't have anything to do with those. This is actually the electronic, weified version of the popular board game Cranium, a fun game that mashes up Trivial Pursuit, Pictionary, and Charades all into a big old ball of purple clay. So much like the board game, this really needs a group of people to get the most fun out of it. Even though the game only uses one remote at a time, single player isn't even really an option. So get your friends and family together and you can form up to four teams, competing to be the first to reach 24 points. The four categories of activities from Cranium are still intact, Data Head, Word Worm, Creative Cat, and Star Performer, but everything's been adapted to suit the Wii's motion controls. This seems like a natural match, although some players might still have some trouble perfecting some of the required waggling or remote precision. But clearly I didn't have much of a problem with some of the drawing activities, as you can see in my latest piece, T-Rex with laser gun kills alien. And you might be wondering how to read those scrambly answers down in the corner. Kabuki actually includes a nifty set of decoder glasses that magically shows you the answer. And even though they weigh about 25 pounds, they do have some nice foam shoulder pads to ease the stress on your neck. And don't worry, your altered vision is only temporary. For most people, the blurriness goes away after a few days. It's kind of like the virtual boy. You might like to know, however, due to a few complaints with the original prototype, there's another updated model of the glasses currently shipping with the game that are made of cardboard and red transparency paper. I guess some people were having problems when they were looking at billboards around town and all they could see were the words obey. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So anyways, this game has a decent amount of brain-twisting variety with its challenges but something about it just gets stale after a while. Part of it could be the spinning carousel. Even though it seems to be random, you might get unlucky and repeat the same activities several times during a game. But if you take a step back from the TV and look at the bigger picture, you might be asking yourself, uh, why aren't we just playing the board game? That's a pretty good question, especially considering the board game is usually cheaper, has more variety, more replayability, and it's much more socially engaging. So if you're new to Cranium and debating between the two versions, I'd suggest the more tangible one. But if you're already a Cranium fan and a Wii owner, this is still definitely worth checking out. The spirit of the board game translates to the Wii fairly well, and you'll still have a great time busting this out at a party. It even works as a good gateway game to get some of those non-gaming family members to waggle some Wiimotes with the kids. But uh, don't come crying to me when Grandma won't stop playing Metroid the following week. Way to go, Red Team! 